For the success of your team, communication and document organization is crucial. If you are used to repeating the same information to your coworkers, imagine a world where information flows seamlessly, ideas are shared effortlessly and collaboration is a breeze. You would feel better, no? Today we will discover Outline, a free open source knowledge based platform, ideal to create collaborative and searchable documentation, resources, guides and procedures to keep your team organized and efficient. Before diving into the features, let's discover the different options available to use Outline. You can use their cloud version at $10 a month with a free trial or install it on your own server using the free community edition. Together we'll see how to use the free version on our platform. Celestio for a simple installation, automatic backups, updates and maintenance. To start using Outline on our platform, go to ls.io, hit login, click on deploy my first service, search for Outline and hit select. Choose your cloud provider, I will choose Scaleway. Adjust the region based on your traffic and your needs. Adapt your service plan to choose the CPU and RAM you need. And hit next. Adjust your level of support. I will keep the included one. Rename your project if you need to and hit create service. Once the installation is finished, you receive an email telling you that your instance is ready. Go and click here to get the password. Then copy the password from your clipboard with this button here and access the URL. Then to access to the login screen, go and continue with OpenID. Username is admin and the password, I paste it from my clipboard. Enter. Now it's asking me the permission to have access to my email and to my basic profile. I accept. And here we are when we arrive on a fresh install of Outline. We have a welcome guide here with what is Outline explaining what it is. A getting started guide with 10 tasks, we'll go into it just after. Our editor and integration and API. Everything to know how it works, what it is and what to do to use Outline. As we are seeing together what is Outline, I won't open this one, but let's start with the getting started guide. So here is the guide we can follow the first one together, some ideas to get you and your team started with learning the basics of outline. You can see there is checkboxes here and automatically when you do checkboxes inside an outline document, it will add that progression bar here with the number of tasks and the number of completed tasks. Because we are here, they deducted that our outline account is created, so it's automatically checked. But let's do the other one together. So create a collection from the left sidebar. You can see that by default, this guide is included in the welcome collection. So we can get rid of it right after we create our instance. But as we want to follow it, let's first create our collection before doing it. Let's say we want to create a new collection named React Tutorial. We can choose the icon, but you can see automatically because I wrote tutorial, it shows an education icon. So I have the choice between different icons and the color I want. Then I can define the access. So is it view and edit for anyone, any member? View only or no access. And then I will give the access one by one or just keep it private for me. Let's keep the default one view and edit public document sharing. I enable it and I hit create inside a collection. We need to create documents. Let's start by doing it. Create a document. It has that very nice notion look on the top. You have the title. Let's name it project setup. It's just a fictional uh, tutorials. No big importance about what we will write together. As you can in Notion, you can also add an icon just for this document, Let's put this one. And then you have that rich text editor here. Hello, here is how you create a React project. So this is basic text if you just type in here, but you can use slash and then have access to a lot of different type of content. So from simple text on the top with heading then task, but at least then more advanced type of content like image videos, code blog divider that helps you create easily your pages, design them and integrate different kind of content. Let's choose a task list, install NPM, add the packages, run the project. And you can see automatically we have three tasks detected here. And if we check them, the progression is updated. Then we can add a heading, for example, big heading, installation, and then you have your content, lorem 
Ipsum. Then you can add, for example, a YouTube video. Let's paste our latest one from LSTO and you have the integration nicely directly inside your page. Once you have edited your document, you have multiple options. You can share it, so publish to internet so anyone would have access. Or if you keep it like this, only members of your outline instance would have access to it. So it depends if it's meant to be public or only for your team. Let's publish it to the internet. Copy the link, publish the document because currently it was in draft, now it's completely published. And here, if I open the link as a visitor, not from outline, I have access to the table of content of the collection, but we only have the installation for the moment. We can switch between dark and light mode and we can click on edit, but I guess it's because I'm connected. This is one nice way to edit documents, but if you have existing one from other markdown editors, you can just go here and do import document. I will import one that I already have, so it's a markdown text. I import it and automatically it created with the good structure, with the links detected, with the bold text. Everything is ready. There is just one issue, which I guess is normal, is because it contains images that are local and not hosted online it wasn't able to auto import them from my device. Once you are happy with the page, you can also define it as a template. So I can use the template eyes, create templates. So now we are in the template section in the app settings. So I am editing it. We can name it a tutorial template. I can hit down editing. So now we can see I have that template available on my app. If I go back there, I create a new document. I can choose on the top right one of the templates. I currently have only one, but I can use it. And here I can edit it, lesson two. And I can just start from something existing with the right structure, with the right words, and iterate this way. Again, I did some modification. So if I just go back to React Tutorial, you can see it disappeared because the lesson two is a draft. So it's not on the list here, it's in draft. So what I can do is here, publish and automatically it will appear in your collection. It's not automatically published, which is a good thing if you want to do some modifications before other members of the team have access to it. Just to show you, if we go back to welcome, you can see that the number of tasks isn't updated. It's just a reflection of what we do manually. It's not automatically detecting that we created a collection. So create a new doc. We also did it. Try drag and drop to nest and move documents. So as they say, you can move lesson two below lesson one and automatically it works nice. So we did it. We can share a document. Well, we made it public, so I guess it's the same. And we need to invite a, co a coworker. We won't do it, but it's important if you want to to invite all your team within Outline like you would do on other platforms like Notion. Everything you create becomes searchable. So you can hit search. If I tap a three, because it's included in some of my content, you can see we have here documentation of React 3 Fiber. Automatically, it finds it in the documentation. One other nice feature we have is integrations and the API. So it's the guy that is talking about it. You have different options available, either creating a Slack application. So you would have the information available directly into your Slack from your outline documents or use the API to browse it like any source of data. For seeing it more in depth, let's go to the instance setting. So it's here and preferences. We can really customize our outline instance the way we want. So we have a lot of settings. First, let's go to profile. My default account created by LSTO is named admin. So I can rename it with my name, change the picture, and here it become more personal. Then if I go into the workspace, automatically we have the Google logo, but let's change it. Let's add our LSTO branding, name it LSTO, choose the orange color. It's not the exact one, but it would be okay for this demo. You can choose to display your logo everywhere on public pages. Let's choose this option and choose where the user starts. Is it on the home or on another collection? Let's keep it to home and save. Then you have plenty of options like security. The way we use the login with email password is named OpenID in this case, but you can also add SSO, which means it's ready for enterprise to use outline. You can choose to enable or not comments within a document and to have the edition separated from the view. 
which is up to you, but by default it is not. You have access to the list of members, so don't hesitate to invite people from your team, give them the appropriate role, or you can share a direct link to it if it's public. You can affect roles directly into users, but you can also create groups. Marketing, continue. You will add people to the group, I will add myself, go back, and then you will share documents just specifically to one group. So you don't have every time you have a new member in your team to choose all the collections to affect to that user, but affect it to the corresponding group or team. Then you also have the templates, but we saw it earlier. Here is just the list of it. The shared link. So it's good if you don't remember exactly what collection, what document you share the link. You have a list here. So if ever you want to stop giving access to one specific thing, you can go here and revoke the link. And then you can import existing documents from Markdown, Notion, Confluence or Road JSON. Easy if you want to migrate to Outline. You can also export everything and re-import it here. So if you switch from the cloud version into the self-hosted one, it's easy to do so. And finally, you have the integration that we saw earlier. So you can define a webhook to perform action on your backend when events happen and you would have all the information available. Create a Slack application but you need to define an environment variable to use it. If you want to add Slack to your instance using LSTO, go to update config, then to edit the environment variable, switch to the env tab. These are the required ones, so don't touch to it unless you know what you are doing. Add a line and add your environment here. Follow outline documentation to know how it works and what you can do with it. And as always, when we do a platform overview, I recommend you to check the documentation to see all the different features that I didn't cover and that might be useful for you. One great thing about Outline is that the documentation is made with Outline itself. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed discovering Outline with us. Don't hesitate to hit the like button, it really helps the channel to become more visible to other open source lovers. If you want to continue to discover open source software your team could benefit from, watch our other platform overviews like this one, available here.